Yeah, I'm gonna bring my phone. Everyone can take a seat right now. Thank you. You all look great. All right, good evening to families, friends, members of the faculty, and a special good evening to the Charlottesville High School graduating class of 2022. My name is Lucas Simpson. I am the president of the senior class of 2022, and it is my distinct honor to be addressing you this evening. It has been a long and eventful two and a half years at Charlottesville High School, during which years there, there have been moments of uncertainty and adversity. We should all take pride in the fact that we are here now graduating. And although we are far less than prepared, these trying times we have faced will ready us for the rest of our lives. Today is a celebration and also a moment of transition for everybody. As we venture on our separate paths, making arrangements for adulthood, I sense a flurry of intense emotions amongst us. Mark Twain once wrote, the two most important days in a person's life are the day they are born and the day they find out why. So whatever path you may be on and whatever your arrangements may be, you have time to figure it out and you're making the right decision. You are already one big step closer to the rest of your life. And with that, I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. I know you all will do great. I encourage you all to embrace failure and make the best kinds of mistakes. And I'd like to thank you all for making the memorable years of my youth exactly that. I'd like to give a special shout out to my family for being here, wherever they are, my beautiful mother and my dad, he's all right. Um, all the teachers that had me, thank you very much. They know who they are. And uh, of course, all of you, especially those who had to endure being my partner for a class project. Thank you very much. And now, it is my pleasure to welcome to the podium a man who needs no introduction, our principal, Dr. Eric Irizarry. Good afternoon, Black Knights. How are you? <laughs> Class of 2022, congratulations, you made it. To say this year was difficult and strange would be an understatement. To be honest, you've had a very eventful and interesting four years at CHS. Think about it. Your ninth grade year started, ended normally, no sweat. Then a global pandemic landed right in the middle of your high school experience. Although we'll continue to feel the effects of the pandemic for years, we are now here. We're now together and celebrating you, Black Knights Class of 2022. And you didn't do this alone, so let's take the time to just thank our teachers, staff, counselors, and everyone at CHS that made this possible. Thank you. And just take a moment, look behind you, look around you. All of these people are here to support you tonight, and I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and helping us get to this point. So thank everyone that came out tonight as well. Despite the challenges that you, your families, your loved ones and friends faced, you persevered and you did what you needed to do to be here today. And I know for many of you, for many of us up here and out there, it wasn't easy. The switch to virtual, the switch back to in-person, COVID quarantines, contact tracing, missing a year and a half of school, it all wasn't easy. But as I said, you are here now, stronger for going through your struggles and ready to face the next phase of your life. Now you may be ending the chapter on CHS, but you're heading into an uncertain world. Climate change, racism, gun violence, a broken political system. But your generation, you, the folks sitting here, are going to make the change that we need to see. It's gonna take work, but you all give us hope. I mean this, you are some of the most accepting, empathetic, and thoughtful folks we've had the pleasure to work with. Our future looks bright, 
because you will make that change. James Baldwin once said, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. You Black Knights have continued to show your resilience and the Black Knight fighting spirit for the past four years. You supported each other during difficult times. You spoke out and walked out against gun violence, mass shootings, racism, racial violence, and stood up for our LBGTQ plus community and advocated for marginalized community voices. You being here today, give it up. You being here today demonstrate that despite the obstacles, you did what you needed to do in school, at home, and in the community. And taking on these challenges has made you stronger. As I say farewell to Black Knight Nation, remember that once a Black Knight, always a Black Knight. Your CHS family will always be here for you, and I encourage you to continue to support each other, continue to stand up for what is right, and continue to take on life's challenges. I wish you all the best. Go Black Knights. Got ahead of myself. It is also our honor to welcome Charlottesville City School Superintendent, Dr. Royal Gurley. Our Division Administration. The Chairperson of the Charlottesville City School Board, Lisa Larson Torres, and the school board members. And we will now hear remarks from our Student Council President, Cayman Hester. For to desire is better than to possess. The finality of the end was dreaded as deeply as it was desired. D.H. Lawrence. There is some merit, I think, to the idea that we want what we don't have. We run towards milestones or goals or meaningful events, all without realizing that we're also running away from what we do have. So I would like to take one last moment before we are irrevocably, thrillingly untethered to appreciate all that CHS has given us. We've learned how to complete the square and about macromolecules and moles and the Revolutionary War. We've learned, thanks to the pandemic, the lengths to which CHS staff and administration are willing to go on our behalf. We've learned from selfless, tenacious people who fight for us when we cannot do it ourselves. And we've also learned who our people are, who we gravitate towards, who we are content to let go of, and who we're determined to keep around. We've learned what we're passionate about, be it writing, or music, or theater, or history. We've settled into ourselves, cleared the smudged edges of who we are and what we believe. The tether has snapped, and it is a bittersweet moment. But whether you are going to college or the workforce or you're simply taking each far off horizon as it comes, one thing remains constant. There will be no more little yellow passes or raising your hand to go to the bathroom. There is nothing binding us and little protecting us. There will be no more net stretched under the tightrope. So now we must simply be capable enough to keep our, ba our balance. Thank you, Charlottesville High School, for studying our every nervous step. Thank you for helping us become more than capable. Thank you for helping us become extraordinary. At this time, we welcome our 2022 commencement speakers, Kiri Antholis and Vanessa Granados Martinez. Hello, administration, friends, family, and the class of 2022. As I stand before you anxiously anticipating the reception of my diploma, I'd like to first take some time for reflection. When we are young, we are warned to be careful, to not get hurt or put ourselves in the way of danger. It was how our parents and teachers and peers conditioned us to always be aware of physical harm. Don't climb that tree, don't run down that hill too fast, always bring a buddy, always look both ways when crossing the street. All of these warnings are to protect us from pain, 
from a scraped knee or a broken arm or possibly something more severe. As I've grown older, I keep returning to the simple aspect of life and childhood, and I consider how the emotional pains that we experience, the growing pains, are things that we are rarely warned about. We've learned at this point how to avoid physical danger, even if as teenagers we believe we are invincible and ignoring some common sense take risks anyways. But we are all still learning how to protect ourselves emotionally, and we will be for the rest of our lives. However, I believe that the class of 2022 is exceptionally prepared for this because we have been made into a new breed of resilience. An important lesson that I have learned these past two years is that most of our painful emotions can be boiled down to grief, which is an emotion that is most often associated with loss, lost moments, lost connections, lost potential. I think our high school experience has been exceptionally riddled with grief. We grieved the small yet important things that came with the loss of a year and a half of in-person learning and social activities. We mourned the absence of in-person musical and theater performances. We were robbed of sports seasons due to COVID exposures. We couldn't participate in hands-on projects, missed out on close connections with teachers and peers through dark screens, could no longer experience the little moments between classes and at lunch. But we also grieved much larger things heartbreak, losing loved ones, losing entire ways of life. We grieved social injustices and discrepancies within our education system. We did all of this without the same support systems or the normal structure of high school life that in-person school offered us. We had to learn how to be adults in a world that had never been seen before. There were no warnings possible for this pain. These past four years, we have had to climb to new heights. We have had to run without burning out. We have had to go to so many hard places alone, and we have not been able to predict which way the danger will come from next. But when I look around me today at all of my peers, who I know have all struggled with their own growing pains and their own forms of grief, I see people who have survived more than we should have to as teenagers, and I see that everyone is stronger for it. We have found ways to make the best of what we have. We built communities within our isolation, and we strengthened our communities when we could return to them. We put on productions virtually, adapted to new ways of learning, played sports with masks on. We found joy in the small things that remained and created new joy. We were imaginative with how we spent our time together, we built new bonds, and we discerned what was most meaningful to us and held it close. Ultimately, we persevered. We became stronger together despite being kept apart, and we will carry that strength wherever we find ourselves next. Even though I know that there are growing pains that are still left to come, I am excited to see what the class of 2022 achieves because I know we are capable of greatness. I am thankful for the community that Charlottesville High School has provided me with these past four difficult but meaningful years. May we always bleed black and orange. Now for Vanessa. <laughs> Hello, and thank you to the students, teachers, parents, and staff who are here and made these four years memorable. I'm Vanessa Granales Martinez, a first generation college bound Mexican student. Both my parents came to the United States at a young age for a better future for them, as well as my older brothers and I. March 13, 2020 is a day that changed lives. Our sophomore year got cut short when COVID-19 struck Charlottesville. Our two week break turned into the rest of the school year being canceled and we were in school virtually for most of our junior year. And being virtual was hard for a lot of us. We had to balance school with work and the balance tipped too many times. We had piles of homework that seemed to never end. This was the first year for many of us our grades started to slip and we were slipping with them, including myself. About a year later was a day that changed everything for me. Tu papá tuvo un accidente y murió. At that very moment, I could feel my whole world crashing down. After losing my dad, my heart and life completely changed. My dad had an amazing way of reaching people through his words and personality. I see a lot of, of my dad here at CHS. I met some of the most kind-hearted teachers and friends here at school and because of them, they helped me become stronger than I was before. 
Author Charles Swindoll once said that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. That's why losing my dad made me realize life is too short. Whether you're scared of doing something, like my friends and teachers can tell you I was scared to give the speech, I did it because you only live once, so why not live it to the fullest? Why not stand here proudly sharing your story in front of hundreds? Why not stand here and represent the Hispanic community? I've been working hard and putting my best effort my whole senior year, finishing with all A's, receiving six scholarships, and now graduating. These past four years have flown by. Life is too short to not do the things you love. It's too short to not do the things you always dreamed of. Put in the best effort into everything you do, no matter what path you decide to take after high school. In a couple of years from now, we may not remember our grades or how popular we were, but instead remember the memories we created, the friendships we made, and the joy of being in high school. Keep pushing to achieve your dreams and don't ever hold yourself back because you are capable of whatever you set your mind to. Don't let anything stop you, but instead allow it to help you become stronger. Because remember, it's only 10% of what happens to you and 90% of what you do afterwards. Thank you.
that was the choir of Charlottesville High School singing our traditional graduation song, <laughs> The Road Home by Stephen Paulus. I'd like to now invite to the front of the stage Dr. Royal Gurley, Lisa Lorson Torres, College Advisor Kaylee Obermeyer, and School Counselor David Wilkerson. All right, we're now going to call names. Lucas Paolo Simpson. <laughs> Cayman Corin Hester. <laughs> Kiri Anthelis. <laughs> Vanessa Granados Martinez. Bahia Nadmi Aldori. Zoitani Emmanuel Alfred. Natrice Elizabeth Ali. Zaikis Ali. Haroon Ali. Shagufa Ali. Omar Yasser Al Sheikha. Maya Anderson. Vanessa Antwi. Jose Apervicio Rafael. <laughs> Dejan Archie. Kieran Earhart. Lucia Ileana Armengo. Imogen Claire Armstrong. Jamin Ashra. <laughs> Abdullah Hisham Asif. Sarah Erickson Aiton. <laughs> Julia Sollers Bailey. Nate Baker. Go to the next one. Jonathan Barber. Henry Barsha. <laughs> Yasmin Barnett. <laughs> JD Helena Bastion Beatley. Camden Elijah Bauckham. <laughs> Ch 
Nicole Bednar. Karen Bernardo Zamora. Sylvie Constance von Harper. Tatiana Amaya Bostock. Nathan Bowen. Caldwell Erdman Boyles. Yannick Alexander Brandon. Philip Green. Chance Auburn Brewer. Paul Vincent Perini Bricker. Diamond Bright. <laughs> Jaquan Bright. Abigail Amala Brissett. Justine Brown. Kaya Brown. Cameron Elizabeth Brown. Kaywon Brown. Ryan Brown. Hannah Riley Bryant. Jordan Bryant. Isabel Amalia Buckner. Kamara Dene Burgess. Elizabeth Ward Burns. Sean Van Coppas. Stefania Rose Caparillo. Kiera Calloway. Jory Russell Cardoza. Angelica Carter. Casey Jordan Carter. Juana Casimiro Alcantara. Jason Gabriel Castillo. Jordan Michael Chambers. Reed Clinton. Zoe Elizabeth Cohn. Lindsay Colbert. Seth Malachi Collier. Eli Cook. Julia Ezalenta Corey. Talasia Adriana Cowan. Yeah. 
Charlotte Abigail Cox. Henry Peter Coyle. Andrew D'Alessio. Mema Donde. Connor Kent Davis. Tashawn Davis Lee. Indigo Day. Andrew Thacian Dichichere. David John Dejunga. Balanesh Downs Reeve. Harry James Driesen Higginbotham. Maria Duenez Schultz. Jude Emil Fairchild. Asadula Fakirzada. Aya Monier Fagans. Malachi Felton. Aubrey Sarah Ferguson. Margaret Fishman. Aaliyah Fleming. Charles Carlos Fleming IV. Jalen Samik Fortune. Jackson Foster. Oliver Frost. Thomas John Frischello. Lucas Ryan Fuller. Edward Lorenzo Fun. Jamie Garcia Perez. Jessica Garcia Perez. Adriana Garrett. Wayne Garrett, Jr. William Harrison Gautry. Sydney Garnett Giannakis. Cal Gist. Aurora Inez Gearing. Sasha Goins. Max Aaron Goldstein.
Eliana Galubov Schrager. Solomon Gomez Perez. Holden Gonzalez. Kellen Adamaris Gonzalez. Datavius Goodwin. Annabelle Patricia Granger. Megan Elizabeth Gray. Pleasant Elizabeth Green. Harrison Greenhoe. Alistair John Greenwell. Greenwell. Elliot Gordon Greenwell. <laughs> Jamia Nashe Grooms. Anna Hogg. Matt Hackworth. Peter Hemming Halverson Taylor. Lucas Daniel Hange. Gwyneth Hansen. Camille Michaela Harold. Tiana Harris. Elizabeth Hayslet. Nicholas Herring. Kashaf Hidayat. Jordan Higgins. Toby Joseph Hill. Tariana Hopkins. Lucia Bell Hoskins. Ella Lauren House. Amia Jackson. Anthony Connor Jackson. Justin Jackson. Nakaya Lanise Jackson. Simon Mills Jacoby. Caroline Joffe. Zanaria James. Mary Catherine Jenkins. Tamara Chanel Jenkins. Lily Jo Meiji. Malik Johnson. John Anthony Camel. Moses Kashindi. Eve 
Kiesecker. <laughs> Miles Alexander Kirshner. Musa Khalifa. Jabria Kyer. Sebastian Krebs. Benjamin Gavin Kramer. Emilia Louise Kromkowski. Lindolfo Lainez. Sahel Lalahan. Quinton Lawn Worrell. Cesar Alexander Lezinbi. Koa Lee. Graham Leonard. Evelyn Diane Lepsch. Benjamin Lichtenstein. Kiera Limbooker. Jamira Nicole Lindsay. Robert Alexander Lloyd. Benjamin Lohr. Jordi Lopez Sanchez. Cole Atticus Lyman. Loralee Odell Lynch. Silver Grace Martin. Kieran Meadow Matthews Huba. Jakia Antoinette Maupin. Brianna Destiny Mayan Rodriguez. Taekwon Marquise Mayo. Catherine Arden McGrath. Owen McKenney. Logan McMindies. Prey Meh. Stephen Stein Meyer. Christopher Miller. Jemiah Kiera Miller. Lucas Miller. Rowan Voss Miller. Kadir Mahama Aman. Talia Moore. (laughs) 
Emily Claire Morris. Jalen Morris. Trinicia Monet Morton Bright. Luke Movius. Kabenga Pinel Mutombo. Franklin Meyer. Nevea Newton. Remakwa Nicholas. Aiden O'Brien Olwell. Christopher O'Connor Rounsevel. Tyler James Oliver. Keyshawn Opie. Abigail Beatrice Paquette. Ashley Dawn Payne. Finley Pettit. Mariana Puentes. Francis Carol Rabasa. Samir Ahmad Radmir. Audrey James Ragsdale. Kidriana Morion Randolph. Miles Reed. Najee Reeves. Ku Ray. Tejon Reed. Elora Sky Reyes. Brian Reyes Morales. Demetrius Richardson. Luke Atticus Roberts. Deshaun Allen Robinson. Jason Romero. Kyla Alicia Rose. Nevea Nicole Rush. Rashawn Rush. Jasna Samal. Brittany Elena Sanchez. Dulce Maria Sanchez Ramirez. Abdu Mukmini Sanda. Kevin Santarosa Sanchez. Elizabeth Addie Sharp. Samuel Schuyler.
Kiana Scott. <laughs> Shannon Emily Shanks. Layla Abdul Salam. Lydia Scheimer. Yasuhiro Shinozaki. Laquaria Sims. Celia Claire Sisson. Van Slangera. Carolyn Cross Slingla. Venetia Smith. Ene So. Luke Nathan Spencer. <laughs> Corin Aero St. Ars. Joseph Earl Strespeck. Nicholas Sun. Lily Kate Gardner Sweeney. Azish Tamang. Sarada Tamang. Siraj Tamang. Edison Tennant. Jesse Abraham Thomas. Lakia Thompson. Margot Bell Thompson. Krista Tishea Timberlake. Deshauna Aliyah Timmons. Christian Alexander Torres Guzman. Xavier William Traeger. Kate Riley Vaughn. Elijah Duncan Veldis. Amelia Vantra. Alexon Lewis Warner. <laughs> Demias Warren Tatum. Corey Devante Wayland. Ricardo Weaver the third. Bear David Thomas Webster. Van Wellman. Yeah. 
Ladanian Tavarius Wells. Corey Wells. Catherine Grace Wormter. Claire Rebecca Wilderman. Jacob Paul Wilderman. Beatrice Eden Wiles. Matthew James Williams. Janasia Williams. Isabel Karina Vunchman McCoy. Georgia Elise Wyatt. Israel Zamora Aparicio. Caleb Jones Ash. Kiamara Lee. Leah Faith Miller. Tariq Muklis. Cynthia Michelle Ordonez Padilla. Ada Luisa Trowbridge. Dulce Vasquez Ponce. Deontay Brock. Please welcome Dr. Irizarry back to the podium. Before I uh, invite Dr. Gurley up, I do uh, just want to recognize uh, for our senior boys uh, soccer team, if you're here, can you stand up? They'll be playing the state championships tomorrow morning, so uh, make good choices tonight, folks. And Mr. Red said, better be at the stadium to get on that bus. At this time, I'd like to invite Superintendent Dr. Royal Gurley to join me at the podium. <laughs> Dr. Gurley, it is my honor to present to you the Charlottesville High School class of 2022 for graduation. Dr. Gurley, I certify that each of these students has met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Virginia State Board of Education and the Charlottesville City School Board. Good evening. I extend to each of you congratulations for attaining this significant milestone in your life. Over the weekend, I was reading a book by my favorite author, Simon Sinek, and he, he wrote a few lines which read, most of us live our lives by accident. We live it as it happens. Fulfillment comes when we live our lives on purpose. Graduates, I challenge you all to find your purpose and use your purpose to make our world better than you found it. And surround yourself with people who will challenge you to be greater each and every day. I wish you all much success as you embark upon this next chapter in your lives. 
by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the school board of Charlottesville City Schools, I now pronounce you the class of 2022 graduates of Charlottesville High School. Once again, congratulations, class of 2022. To our family and friends, thank you for coming to the commencement. Please stay seated as our students process.